This video covers the test method ASTM E96 standard test methods for water vapor transmission of materials. There are two terms to quantify water vapor transmission, permeability and permeance. Water vapor permeance is the time rate of water vapor transmitted through a unit area of material induced by unit vapor pressure difference between the two exposed surfaces of the material. In the construction trade, this term is generally expressed as perm in the English measure in grams per pascal times second time meter squared in metric. Water vapor permeability is the arithmetic product of permeance and unit thickness and has the units of perm inch in grams per pascal times seconds times meter. Permeance is used in performance evaluation while permeability is a product of a material. There are two basic methods for measuring the permeance of materials such as paper, plastic films, fiberboards, gypsum, and plaster products, the desiccant method and the water method. Both methods utilize a test dish where the material under test is placed and sealed to the dish opening. Inside the test dish is an environment of either high vapor pressure created by filling the test dish mostly with distilled water or low vapor pressure created by placing calcium chloride desiccant in the test dish. An initial weight of the completely assembled test dish is made, then placed in the test chamber at the specified conditions. The vapor pressure difference between the inside of the test dish and the conditioned space causes water molecules to pass through the permeable material resulting in either a mass gain or loss depending on the method used. Tracking this change in mass over time through periodic weighings gives the water vapor transmission rate or the slope of a graph of the mass over time. Permeance is calculated as this slope divided by the exposed area of the material divided by the vapor pressure difference. Average permeability can be calculated as permeance times thickness, but is only meaningful for homogeneous, non-laminated materials not less than half an inch thick. The test report for the results of ASTM E96 should contain at a minimum a description of the material tested, the test method used, the temperature and relative humidity of the test chamber, the permeance and permeability if allowed, the side of each specimen on which the higher vapor pressure was applied, a statement of the test dish design and type or composition of sealant, and a plot of the section of the curve used to calculate permeance.